KCTV 5 stands for you. We crunch the numbers and reveal some stunning information. Just like we did during the 2019 tax assessment in Jackson County. We did dozens of reports back then because there were so many problems. Homeowners are now looking at their 2021 assessments and probably wondering what happened this year. Once again, KCTV 5 investigative reporter Angie Rocono is looking out for homeowners. We haven't gotten that incredible volume of emails and phone calls like we did two years ago, but we like to be thorough. We met up with data expert Preston Smith to give you insight into assessments and what's ahead. We have inaccuracies in this year's assessment too, but in this case it benefits the taxpayer. Two years ago it didn't it benefit the, the county and the, the tax and entities, but this time it benefits the taxpayers. Meet Preston Smith. KCTV5 has worked with him for years, analyzing data and revealing information. Like the time the county rammed up taxes 14.9% across the county for 28% of all homeowners. It looked like this on a map. And it looked like this on a bar graph. It made no sense. So we thought we better crunch things again. It's like they deliberately avoided that number. 14.9% is no longer the favorite number. It went from 28% of all homes down to less than 1%. They knew we were there. We were watching, and I think they, they backed off. Here's how taxes shaked out this year, according to Smith's analysis. 60% of homes saw less than a 10% increase. About a quarter saw increases between 10 and 15%. Some homes decreased in value, and the only major changes involve renovations and construction. While many homeowners are breathing a sigh of relief, there are going to be some increases. The assessment director warns big changes are ahead in 2023. The housing market is hot, and the county is spending $18 million in outside contracts to provide more accurate assessments, meaning if you've been lucky with low taxes, that's going to end. From what Preston Smith can see, a deep investment is justified. But now you, you peel it apart and you, you see these, and, you, and with each day, it's like it's, it's doesn't add up either. The county's information doesn't always add up. He compared taxes with sales information collected by the county. $900 million. Some properties are off by millions of dollars. This is the $900 million building. That's right, millions likely errors. But you know what? You catch that. If you catch, I can catch on a spreadsheet in 10 minutes. Why couldn't I? KCTV5 appreciates all of your emails and calls, and that's how we knew we needed to dig into taxes and why we began tracking unemployment problems. If you have a concern, feel free to reach out to the I-Team. You can find our information online. Angie Bracono, KCTV5 News.